What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be taking a deep look at a muzzle attachment in Modern Warfare 3 for SMGs that I've been looking forward to for quite some time because it's a very solid muzzle and it's been in the game for a while, but it was locked and there was no way to unlock this until the launch of Season 3 and this is the Trebuchet Break. In my opinion, this is now one of the better attachments to use and I'm going to be going through and showing exactly why I feel this is the case. But before we do that, I just wanted to point out this muzzle break is unfortunately limited to the SMG category only, but it is available on all of the SMGs, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 SMGs, aside from the Rival 9 and the Lockman Shroud. So it is a bit unfortunate we can't use this on like assault rifles for instance, although at the same time if it were available on those that could potentially break some of the muzzle balancing in the game just because this attachment is actually very strong. So let's have a look at the brief overview of what this does. The benefits that you're gaining with the trebuchet break are a 25% boost to recoil gun kick, which is an excellent boost. That's far better than most of the other attachments in the game. And then on top of that, we get a 15% boost to both horizontal control as well as vertical recoil control. And while this obviously isn't quite as good as the Jack BFB muzzle for recoil control, that muzzle also has some pretty massive downsides, like the fact that you're gonna show up as a giant arrow when you fire your gun on the enemy's mini map, and that arrow is gonna linger around for a lot longer, making it much easier to track down where you are. And that's not even mentioning the fact that the other cons that are attached to the Jack BFB are far more punishing than the cons that we'll see with the trebuchet break, but we're going to look at that toward the end of the video. Another thing I wanted to point out here is this is a better all-arounder in my opinion compared to the Modern Warfare 2 recoil muzzles. Previously, outside of the Jack BFB muzzle of course with that giant arrow, these Modern Warfare 2 recoil muzzles were going to be your best bet for controlling recoil as much as possible on a gun. And while I would still say you can get more specialized with those Modern Warfare 2 muzzles, you can lean more in the direction of vertical or horizontal compared to the trebuchet break. As an all-arounder for just reducing general recoil, the trebuchet tends to be the better option, especially because it has significantly less downsides compared to these Modern Warfare 2 muzzles. And without further ado, let's dive right into the recoil comparisons here with all of the SMGs that I tested. And I'm not going to talk about every one of these in great detail individually. You guys can see the comparison side by side for yourself. On the left is going to be the base recoil. On the right is the recoil with the trebuchet break. And in every case here, you can clearly see the recoil is very noticeably better on the right hand side. And this is especially great considering this is just one attachment. And in many cases, you would need multiple attachments to see this kind of recoil improvement. But I would say especially for the SMGs that tend to have a lot of gun kick where there's a lot of side to side bounce, this muzzle really nicely gets that under control. And like I said, as a single attachment, this is very impressive to see this much of an improvement to our recoil control with the Modern Warfare 3 SMGs. However, when we take a look at Modern Warfare 2 SMGs, a big thing with Modern Warfare 2 weapons is they tend to have a lot more gun kick on average than the Modern Warfare 3 counterparts. And since the trebuchet muzzle break helps a lot with that gun kick control, 25%, I would say this is even better on the Modern Warfare 2 SMGs than the Modern Warfare 3 ones, at least on average. So, so far, just looking at the pros and the upside to the trebuchet break, it's looking really good for this attachment as a muzzle if you're trying to get that general recoil under control. However, we do have some cons attached to it, but the thing I like about this the most is these cons aren't really that harsh when you take a deep look at it compared to similar muzzle attachments. Like with those Modern Warfare 2 recoil muzzle attachments, across the board, all of these style of attachments are going to be increasing our aim down sight time by a flat 40 milliseconds, which is about four times as much as what we're experiencing with the trebuchet break. And therefore, if you're using those Modern Warfare 2 recoil muzzles, you're generally going to have to adjust your play style in order to compensate for those, and you won't be able to be quite as aggressive with those particular muzzles compared to the trebuchet break where it's not really hurting you that much in this area and you can still generally be quite aggressive. In saying that though, this isn't the only downside with the trebuchet break. It also reduces our range values by 10%. And this is definitely a con you want to be much more aware of than that aim down sight penalty, which is pretty minor. When it comes to this range penalty, it can absolutely impact the effectiveness of the gun. So you will have to judge it on a case-by-case -case basis and what you're going for with that particular setup. But for me, if I'm using a fairly inaccurate SMG, it tends to be worth it to sacrifice this 10% range because range isn't going to matter all that much if you're unable to hit your shots in the first place. I would much rather have a situation where in a few very small range windows, it takes me one extra bullet to kill enemy players if it means that on average, I'm hitting far more shots, far more consistently on target. So overall, now that it's available, I am really liking this trebuchet break for my SMGs if I'm aiming for a more accurate build without sacrificing too much in the handling department. 
and it's absolutely going to be causing me to change some of my SMG loadouts, especially the ones where I tend to be aiming for more accuracy overall. Now in saying that, of course, I'm not saying that I'm just going to throw the trebuchet on literally every SMG class setup that I make. Like I said, you have to judge this on a case by case basis. Some SMGs are accurate enough on their own. You don't really need to focus your attachments too heavy on improving that recoil. And then other times, maybe I want to use a suppressor or something. And then obviously in that case, I'm not going to be using the trebuchet brake. But in those situations where I really want to get that recoil under control, the trebuchet is going to be the clear choice for me more often than not. And with that, this is where I'm curious to hear from you guys in those comments down below. How are you feeling about the trebuchet brakes so far? Have you managed to try it out yet? Do you like this attachment? Do you dislike it? Do you think it should be available on more weapon classes like assault rifles, for instance? Just let me know all of those thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.